Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel The Trading Game, the channel where you get all the stock market related information, news and financial education. Today is a Saturday and I uh, hope you are having a good weekend and uh, in this video we are not talking about the market but uh, we'll be talking about one personality so we'll be looking into Mukesh Ambani's story, we'll be looking into his uh, personality, his childhood and how he grown up and his education and uh, there are some astonishing uh, uh, facts about uh, Mukesh we, which we don't know so we'll be uh, try to look into that and one more important thing is uh, there are a couple of very good learnings for each and every one of us uh, from his life so we'll be looking into that if you are here for the first time in this uh, channel uh, please do subscribe the channel so that it gives me some motivation for doing further uh, good videos that uh, let's uh, quickly start the session and uh, you might be knowing that uh, he is currently in the news everyone is talking about him because uh, he is the uh, top richest in the world so if you are aware that he is the top fifth richest in the world in the last last few months uh, he has grown a lot okay so first we'll be looking into his uh, birth and childhood and uh, Mukesh was born on 19th April 1957 in the British town colony of Aden currently which is Yemen and his parents are uh, Dhirubhai and uh, Kokilaban so many of uh, us might not be knowing about this uh, so he is not born in India so he was born in a country called Yemen and uh, because uh, his dad was uh, uh, went there for a business and uh, he was working there in a small petrol pump so okay so 1957 uh, Mukesh was born and uh, he is having uh, one younger brother uh, we might be knowing about him Anil Ambani and uh, two sisters uh, Nina Kotari and uh, Deepthi Salkaukar so these are the two sisters uh, of, of Mukesh and uh, coming to the initial uh, days of him so his family lived in a simple uh, two bedroom apartment uh, in uh, Mumbai until the 1970s so immediately after uh, Mukesh was born in 1957 I think next year 1958 they moved back to uh, Mumbai for a, for a business and um, they settled in Bhuleshwar, Mumbai and uh, they, they were in the same building uh, till the 1970s and uh, once they become uh, financial stable uh, they moved uh, to apartment uh, block uh, in Kolaba uh, where in uh, these Ampani brothers uh, Anil and Mukesh they were living in a separate uh, different floors and uh, after that uh, they shifted uh, like as uh, we were knowing that uh, they shifted in 1958 uh, uh, to India and they started a company called uh, Vimal and uh, later uh, the name got changed to only Vimal okay so this was the initial company which uh, the, the uh, Ambani started so looking at the education what exactly Mukesh had so he attended the Hillgrange High School at uh, Pedder Road Mumbai and uh, he was uh, his brother was also studying with him along with Anand Jain now who is uh, like a close associate of uh, Mukesh so he was there with uh, in every move of uh, Mukesh Ambani and after his secondary school uh, he studied at the St. Javier's uh, College uh, uh, in Mumbai itself and then uh, for a BE he did in uh, he did chemical engineering from the Institute of uh, Chemical Technology and after that so uh, Ambani later enrolled for an MBA at Stanford University okay so this is a very important topic and this is I consider this as a very good learning for uh, each of us wherein we push our children for uh, all these higher degrees uh, every time and we want to concentrate them on the on uh, studies all the time but uh, here you can see there there is uh, something very different thing to learn from uh, wherein when he when he uh, enrolled at uh, Stanford University he withdraw in 1980 to help his father build Reliance that means he is a drop out of uh, Stanford University the the simple reason being why he uh, dropped out is his father felt like uh, real life skills were uh, I mean we can get that through the experience and not uh, by the degrees uh, which we get in a classroom that this is a very very important point which I actually I wanted to uh, bring it in this video so very very good learning so that we should uh, each and every one of us should uh, uh, look at uh, rather than just looking into the degrees we should look into the real life experience and uh, we have to grow out of it okay and um, please let uh, me know your comments in the comment section below what you feel about this particular point so i i personally say uh, degrees are important but uh, definitely experience is uh, way way higher than uh, our regular degrees 
and uh, coming to the business section so what happened in the business in uh, 1981 he started to help his uh, father Dhiru Vambani once when he came back from Stanford and uh, by that time it had already expanded so that uh, it uh, also started uh, dealing in refining and petrochemicals and uh, now uh, when you look into that uh, there was telecommunications also and after that reliance uh, retail uh, there was another subsidiary so um, you might be knowing that it is the biggest retailer in india and uh, in around that 2015-16 mark reliance geo has earned a top five spot in the country's telecom services uh, since its public launch uh, 2016 okay so now after that uh, like if we really look into his uh, initial days uh, at the age of 24 itself uh, he was given a charge of the construction of a Patal Ganga petrochemical plant uh, in fact uh, this was a very uh, huge responsibility on uh, Ambani Mukesh Ambani at the age of 24 because 24 is not that uh, big age for uh, looking into these kind of uh, businesses especially this oil refinery and petrochemicals so he was given responsibility and uh, uh, we know that uh, he, how good uh, he is of that and uh, once after this uh, Dhirubhai uh, his father got expired in 2002 and uh, there were like a uh, clashes between uh, the brothers Anil and Mukesh for the distribution of uh, whatever the businesses uh, they have built and uh, these clashes were resolved by uh, his mother Mukesh Anil's mother and uh, she came in between and uh, she helped uh, them uh, splitting the company into two one is um, uh, Ambani, this Mukesh Ambani receiving control of uh, Reliance Industries and uh, Indian Petrol Chemical Corporation Limited, which was uh, later approved by the Bombay High Court. So Mukesh got uh, these uh, wings out of it. And we'll be looking into world's uh, rich list, how, how he came to the top uh, through the richest list. And uh, you can see here in 2016, uh, Mukesh was ranked 38. Uh, number overall and uh, he consistently uh, he was heading the richest person title in India and uh, you can see here he's the only Indian businessman on fourth list uh, of the uh, most powerful people and as of uh, January 2018 Mukesh was ranked as the 80th 18th I mean so in uh, two years uh, he climbed uh, to 20 uh, spots and uh, he was standing at 18th and um, later in the same year, uh, July 20, 2018, uh, he crossed Jack Ma and um, became the Asia's richest person uh, with uh, 44.3 billion in July 2018. Okay, so with uh, two, uh, uh, if you really look at it, 2016 he was at 38th rank. By July 2018, he was at uh, uh, he crossed uh, Asia's uh, Jack Ma. And, and currently he is standing at uh, fifth richest of the world and uh, now you can imagine how uh, quickly he is growing even though we are in this uh, uh, corona period but still uh, he is everyone is going down but uh, he is continuously growing up and uh, the people who are above him uh, with respect to the uh, richest list is uh, first one is uh, as usual uh, amazon uh, jeff bezos is uh, continuing and second one is uh, bill gates uh, from microsoft third one is bernard arnold and uh, mark zuberg is on uh, fourth one from facebook and uh, fifth is uh, this mukesh ambani okay so uh, with that uh, let's look into a few of the awards and honors of what he has got you can see here uh, there are like multiple awards or the honors of uh, what he has got so there are like a couple of slides one is this and uh, the second one is uh, there were like um, there were multiple in fact okay with that let's look into quickly look into the his uh, personal life uh, how, how exactly is uh, so you might be knowing that his his wife name is Neeta Ambani and uh, they married in 1985 and uh, they have uh, two sons one is Anant and the other one is Akash and also a daughter called uh, named Isha and uh, in one of his uh, TV interviews he mentioned that his favorite uh, food is Idli Samba and uh, he, that's a, that's a strange yeah. being a Mumbai probably uh, someone might have thought about uh, 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 something else like Vada Pao but uh, he said Idli Samba that was very strange but and uh, similarly when he talks about restaurant he said that uh, Mysore Cafe is his favorite restaurant which is in uh, Mumbai King Circle and some we will be looking into some of the mind blowing facts uh, which are very less known and uh, kind of surprising facts uh, about Mukesh 
his home which is called as antilia building it is the most expensive private residences in the world and uh, not only that the 60 story building uh, which is uh, which is having uh, like all the high end facilities like uh, it is having uh, multiple helipads and uh, even theaters inside that and a terrace garden and a very important thing is parking for 168 cars which is very very huge and uh, one more important thing you can see there is uh, the staff of around 600 people work uh, within the building so you can just imagine how uh, big the building might be and how big uh, the house is okay and uh, next coming to the another uh, important point or uh, the uh, surprising fact is that uh, he uh, not only like uh, he owns uh, Indian Premier League's uh, franchise which is Mumbai Indians as we know he's also the founder of Indian Super uh, League which is a, a football league in India so many of us were not knowing about this if I'm right because uh, we generally follow cricket and we don't uh, uh, generally follow football as much as cricket so he is the founder of that uh, Indian Super League just like IPL what we have so he is the owner of that Indian Super League uh, football league in India and uh, he was appointed as a director of Bank of America and uh, he was the first person uh, in fact non-American to be on his board so it was uh, a kind of honor to be uh, as a director for that to uh, Bank of America and uh, he was the first person a non-American to have that and uh, as uh, we saw earlier uh, so he directed and led the creation of the world's largest uh, grassroots uh, refinery at jamnagar uh, so it's uh, basically uh, it was integrated with petrochemicals power generation port and related infrastructure and uh, has a capacity of producing uh, 6 lakh 68000 bar barrels per day uh, which is uh, very very huge and uh, uh, no wonder that uh, this is this is the world's largest uh, petroleum refinery and uh, um, earlier uh, during the 40th uh, annual general meeting of uh, Reliance, uh, Reliance so he announced a bonus is on the ratio of 1 is to 1 which is the like biggest bonus issue and uh, he also announced the geo phone at an uh, effective price of almost zero so you might be knowing that when this phone got uh, launched so he said that uh, he almost gave the phone at a zero cost meaning uh, uh, we, we had to pay just uh, the just only for uh, the whatever the uh, plans of the sim card so that means the uh, phone was uh, kind of uh, free it, it almost uh, everyone got it at a zero price itself okay and uh, as per uh, february 2018 because bloomberg's uh, robin hood index estimated that his personal wealth was enough to fund the operations of the country in fact the federal uh, indian federal government for a big 20 days so you can understand that how big uh, his wealth was uh, in fact in 2018 itself but if you look into today's uh, that is like it is still higher way way higher and one important thing uh, many many of us might not be knowing is that there was a fr filed against him in a uh, criminal offenses uh, for irregularities in the pricing of natural games uh, from the kg basin so arvind kejriwal uh, who was the delhi chief minister then uh, he was in fact for a very uh, smaller time so he has ordered the fr uh, so he said that uh, uh, there are uh, the natural gas price has been uh, increased uh, and uh, the all the leaders political leaders especially rahul gandhi and narendra modi they were not clear on this and they were uh, not uh, questioning this is what uh, his concern was arvind kejriwal and uh, he claimed that whatever the uh, amount required to produce a, an unit of uh, uh, natural gas was exact was around one dollar uh, it was needed to produce but uh, he was charging eight dollars so, so that means uh, what uh, kejriwal claimed is that rupees 540 billion to the country annually was the loss for the country so this was this was an allegation from uh, kejriwal uh, uh, for uh, uh, mukesh which we were not knowing earlier okay and uh, coming to uh, one uh, again uh, one more fact about uh, mukesh is that he is a strict vegetarian and uh, teetotaler so if you are not aware of what uh, teetotaler is teetotaler is the person who never drinks alcohol and um, you might be seeing this he is a very big uh, fan of uh, bollywood movies so he says that uh, he watches uh, bollywood uh, movies uh, three times a week uh, because uh, he 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 says that uh, 
uh, whatever the busy he is uh, he he want to some uh, he want to get refreshed and uh, that is very true whatever the work we do we need to definitely we need uh, some time to get ourselves refreshed and uh, yeah uh, watching movies uh, is uh, one of one of that uh, good ideas uh, watching good movies in fact okay and uh, you might be knowing this uh, story uh, which happened recently in 2019 a uh, court in mumbai uh, so they said that uh, they had a criminal uh, criminal case against anil ambani wherein he had to pay a huge amount to a uh, uh, swedish gear maker uh, which is ericsson company so the, uh, the uh, court ordered a jail for him but uh, mukesh came to help him at the end of the month whatever the time they had given mukesh uh, bailed out his uh, anger brother by paying all the debts whatever he had to ericsson so this was really a, a helping hand watching what he gave to his brother so in fact this is one of the learnings um, so even though there were like multiple uh, conflicts between him between him and his brother but when the really time arrived to help uh, his brother he he helped him okay so this is definitely one of the good learnings what we have to um, go uh, follow in our life and uh, just one more crown for him so he was uh, titled the world's richest uh, sports team owner uh, when he, when he purchased uh, i uh, mumbai indians for 111.9 million in 2008 so this was a huge investment and uh, that's the reason why he was uh, titled the world's uh, richest sports team owner and uh, one more astonishing fact is that uh, in 2007 so uh, he uh, gifted uh, a flight which is airbus uh, airbus a319 for uh, his wife neeta uh, for uh, for her 44th birthday so this airbus is not just a ordinary flight uh, it is it has a capacity of having 180 passengers on the world but uh, it has been custom fitted uh, to include a living room just like uh, the house whatever uh, they have and uh, the bedroom satellite television it has wi-fi sky bar and uh, an office to inside that and now uh, one more important uh, fact to be noted here which uh, many of us not knowing is that uh, mukesh ambani is having a a z level security that costs him around 15 to 16 lakhs per month so that means uh, he is just uh, having the uh, very high level security um, he is just one of one of those people who have this uh, z level security in india so which costs him around 15 to 16 lakhs per month and uh, one more uh, important thing is uh, the fun fact here is uh, mukesh ambani and uh, neeta ambani met so in fact uh, um, before Mukesh, uh, Dhirubhai Ambani spotted uh, Nita in some uh, program and uh, uh, he requested uh, Nita to meet her, uh, to meet his son uh, Mukesh and uh, later you know what happened so they got married. Okay, so that was the love story of them and uh, the next thing is uh, very very important thing. So this is again one of the very important learnings uh, what we can get from his life story. So he says that uh, even though he is uh, busy too much uh, during all his days, uh, he he spends time every Sunday with his family. So, uh, so this is very important point because we will be uh, keep on busy every day uh, with our uh, busy schedule. But uh, definitely we need to spend uh, some time with our family. So you can see here Mukesh spends every Sunday with his family. And uh, uh, about talking about his uh, luxury car so he wants a car bmw 6 uh, sorry 760 li so which is a bulletproof uh, that can be your ever uh, deadly bomb blast so it is a very good car uh, i mean very high level security car so this is uh, the, the same car i mean uh, the same model has been used by our prime minister modi also and uh, not only this car uh, Mukesh is having uh, there are like a too many uh, 160 plus cars of a different uh, company and uh, different brands and uh, now so you might be uh, you might be aware that he is the fifth uh, richest in the world but uh, if you consider outside north america and europe so he is the richest person uh, in the world except uh, north america and europe because whatever the top four we talked the top four are from either north america and uh, or europe 
okay so with that i hope uh, that uh, we got some uh, information out of uh, this video and if you had uh, if you have got something out of it please do hit the like button and uh, uh, subscribe the channel if you haven't done uh, thank you so much for your time uh, see you in the next video bye bye